Visual Honey. Hi everyone! Today I'll be doing a review on the ceramic um, hideout that my hamster is currently using. So this is the one that she is currently using and as you can tell it's really quite big in size. Um, I'll measure it later and I will let all you know um, how big it is and let's move on to the next section of this video where I show you the details of this hideout. So let's take a look at the uh, ceramic hideout and let's first measure how big um, this one is. Okay, so the measurements here is about 25 cm tall and 15 cm wide. So it is really quite big in size, but my cage is an acrylic cage that I customized. So the height um, is alright for her cage. And she can actually climb up um, quite easily because of the you know, surrounding furniture. And that's why I actually put the bedding around it to be a bit taller here. But it slopes down so that you know she can comfortably go inside. And I really like this because um, the other hideouts that I found um, in the pet shops were really too small because she's a Syrian. So she actually grew quite big and these, the hideouts that I could find was probably around this size. So she couldn't really fit comfortably inside them. But when I actually had the opportunity to get this one for her, I jumped at the opportunity and I never regretted my decision even though it is more expensive. Um, because she can really comfortably use it and she can even, um, you know, decorate the inside with nesting, with paper bedding and other soft nesting materials that I provide her with. And she really enjoys, um, sleeping <laughs> inside it at times or I go hiding her foot in it, you know. So... Yeah, this is my review on the uh, hideout that she's using right now and it's also made of ceramic which is really good um, for me because I live in Singapore so it is usually quite um, hot and humid and ceramic is naturally cooling uh, it's a cooling material so actually um, it's really good for them to have an option um, of cooling material so that they can cool down their body so that's why I actually uh, provide Aggie with different materials in her enclosure as well so that she can have more options to explore. I will share the link where you can get this hideout in the description below. And I will also show you some pictures and videos of um, Eggy using this hideout in her enclosure. It actually is pretty cute and I'm quite happy that I managed to get this out of um, luck. But I hope that uh, some of you who are looking for the right kind of hideout for your hamster, for your Syrian, uh, will also give this a try and let me know in the comments below if you enjoy getting this for your hamster. I would also like to say that um, because it's quite big in size, you really have to consider whether you can fit it in your enclosure or not. Especially if your cage is the minimum size because um, it might not be able to fit with the sand pit and all the other things that you have, especially your hamster's wheel.
So I hope this video was enjoyable to you. And if it was, please remember to give me a like and a subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.